Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I'm sure some of you guys have experienced a uh, rattling problem with uh, the stock caps. I know I have. There, there are some fixes that you can do to mitigate that, but instead of doing that, what I uh, just received is a flush mount cap. So let's take a look uh, what comes in the box and uh, get it installed. Okay, right, so here's the uh, flush mount uh, cap kit. You basically get a cap. Uh, and a dummy cap for the left side, so let's quickly open this thing up. All right, so the cap, the instructions. All right, so here's the cap. The trim ring that goes around it and a dummy cap that goes on the left side. So let's go ahead and uh, remove the stock, prep the surface and get these things installed. Alright, first uh, let's do the easy side, the right side where the actual uh, fuel cap will go. We'll remove the, uh, the stock fuel cap. Let's install the, uh, the new cap. All right. Basically, to lock it, you just push it in and turn it, and it locks in place. Um, now I'm going to use an alcohol pad and prep the surface for the trim ring. Let the area dry a little bit. All right, guys. So. The, uh, the alcohol dried, so now we're ready to install the trim ring. Uh, quick note here, it is curved, so play around with this a little bit uh, to see where the gaps are uh, before you remove the uh, uh, this uh, adhesive uh, tape. And uh, the way it works for me, and probably will for you as well, is this little notch facing forward basically leaves no gaps all around uh, all around the cap so before you remove it uh, maybe even make like a small marking or something like that something that you can <laughs> erase later obviously or just again remember the the, the position of this uh, of this paper as you as you remove it and place it in the same exact um, this direction okay Press on it firmly and wait for a few seconds. All right, let's check the cap. All right, looks good. Now let's do uh, the left side. All right, so the left side is basically a dummy cap. Uh, so let's remove a cap and basically what we have is we have this uh, aluminum mount with a double sided tape underneath it. Um, so basically you can try to do a couple different things. You can uh, use something like a, a fishing line to get underneath it or, or you know something to lift it up. I'm just going to use uh, a uh, plastic pry bar uh, and carefully try to get under not to scratch the paint and uh, see if I can lift it up um, while the tape is still on this uh, aluminum piece, otherwise we'll have to get it removed after. All right guys, as you saw, I mean, it couldn't have gotten any easier, honestly. Uh, no, uh, no tape is left here. I'm just gonna use the uh, alcohol pad to quickly clean up the area and uh, line up the uh, new uh, uh, dummy cap. So let's wait uh, a minute or so before the uh, alcohol dries and uh, we'll put the, uh, the new dummy cap on. All right guys, so uh, what I did here for myself is that I um, 
lined up a, a few uh, masking tapes to give myself a sort of a guidance where the center is before I place the cap. Uh, also, same story here. This cap is uh, curved. So the best thing that worked for me as far as, uh, you know, eliminating all the gaps around the tank is that this uh, uh, notch is facing forward, right? So when we place it, this is kind of how it's going to go. All right, so be, again, uh, kind of play around with it a little bit. Uh, rotate it a few times just to see, make sure there, there are no gaps or as little gaps as possible before you remove uh, this masking tape, okay? Alright guys, so that was a quick and easy install of the flush mount cap kit. As you saw, the install is uh, pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Uh, just take your time, uh, line up the trim ring and a dummy cap and you'll be good to go. So hopefully this video was useful to some of you. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys soon. Take care.